good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out jeff hardy spare jail time wwe spoils plans new wwe ple big bout reveal for wrestlemania 39 and other related news we're gonna check this out man let's see what's the update going on with jeff hardy and whatnot appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on our channel let's get right into this one what is going on guys it is wrestlemania here back with some more news join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including a jeff hardy spared jail is this his last chance did WWE spoil a major storyline? A huge bout in the works for WrestleMania 39? A new WWE PLE revealed? An ex WWE mass wrestler ditching his mask? And much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for, for daily sure. wrestling subscribe videos and follow us on Facebook if for you haven't already. Bliss. Also, check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Now, let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at Jeff Hardy's spare jail, and it could be his last chance. Mm. A top of today's news is the latest on Jeff Hardy's DUI case, a case that's been hanging over him since last June. As we'll see, it's good news for Jeff Hardy as he won't have to serve any prison time. Which is good. Hardy entered a nolo contender plea, aka a no contest, wherein he accepted the court's verdict but did not admit guilt. Mm. According to Wrestling News' Andrew Ravens, Hardy will also have two years of probation pay 4,586 in fines and court fees, have two years with an interlock device and 90-day vehicle impoundment, go to mm. court mandate DUI school or drug rehab program and do community service. In Damn. addition, Hardy's driver's license is suspended for the next 10 years. Damn. He was credited 38 days for the time he served in jail while the case was pending. Hardy was arrested in June 2022 for DUI and charged with other offenses. The DUI charge, a third DUI within 10 years, carried a possible sentence of five years in prison. It appears that Hardy caught a major break after his attorney filed paperwork seeking to have the breath test results excluded as evidence. Damn. The Wrestling News report noted the attorney claimed the intoxilizer that was used was not inspected by the Florida Highway Patrol the month before Hardy tested with it, and that violates a Florida Department of Law Enforcement Damn. rule that the equipment must his, be inspected his, every month. His lawyer While the good. prosecution could have continued the case, it's unclear whether they would have prevailed at trial. As often happens, prosecutors prefer to achieve some sort of conviction rather than lose a case. It remains to be seen what's next for Jeff Hardy as far as wrestling goes and whether he can deal with the personal demons that have plagued him throughout his career. Should Jeff have gone to jail though? Does he deserve another chance? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up. Well, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. At this point, he he was given some type of out. You know, crazy that his license is going to be suspended for 10 years. Um, he has to do a lot of things. Um, it's really up to him. It's up to him at this point. If it happens again, it's on him now. It, I mean, it, it, there's there's nothing you can do. This is multiple times that someone's been given a chance and uh you know they they you know driving while under influence is never good for anybody you know what i'm saying i, I want to put this out there i've had my my fair share of moments i'm not proud of and that's why i don't condone that nor do i participate in that if i know i'm gonna be lit or you know i've had too much to drink i have somebody take me on our uber or you know i said i'll i'll chill you know wait for me to sober up a little bit more before i even think about getting on the road if i know i'm not good I'm not going nowhere or, you know, someone, you know, can take me home, Uber home or whatever the case may be, you know, it is, it's, it's really a dangerous thing. So I, I, you know, this is, is kind of a win for him because he doesn't have to, you know, go to jail, prison, serve prison time. But this needs to be the last time we hear about this from Jeff. S someone needs to be able to help him stay on the course because if it happens again, I don't think anyone's going to have sympathy. I think a lot of people have let go of this, you know, having sympathy for him. But if it happens the next time, he may have to he he may have to serve some jail time. This is one of our childhood heroes and we hate to see it like this, like this, like um, him going through this, but you know, he's endangering himself and other people out there on the road while under the influence. So, I'm wishing him, you know, uh, 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 a recovery in the sense of mentally being able to move forward and, and, and learn from this. I hope this doesn't happen again. I hope we don't ever have to hear Jeff Hardy's name in this type of situation again. Did WWE spoil a major storyline? 
Did the WWE spoil a major storyline with a recent live event advertisement? Or fans tuning into the 20th February Raw saw Sami Zayn ask Kevin Owens to help him take down the bloodline, mm -hmm. only for KO to remind Zayn he told him last year that he's through with Zayn. However, a recent ad from Toronto's Coca-Cola Coliseum for the WWE's 4th March live event suggests a reconciliation. While the tweet was deleted, it was captured by various sites, including WrestleOps, which tweeted, WWE are advertising for the March 4th live event in Toronto, mm. Canada that will be headlined by Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Ah. This could be a social media marketing mistake, as it wouldn't be the first time the WWE's social media department bungled an ad. However, with many fans believing WrestleMania will feature Zayn and Owens teaming on to take the Usos for the Undisputed Tag Team Championship, yeah. many believe that this is no error. What would you guys think? Was it an error? Let us know in the comments down below. It was probably an error on getting out. But it's gonna happen. I mean, it's it's you know it's part of their way to you know probably trying to you know get some hype for that house show because people are gonna want to see them tag tag team and want to see Roman uh, out there as well. So yeah, I definitely see this happening. It's 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 gonna happen. It's it's kind of it it kind of books itself. It makes sense for it to happen that way. Down below. Next up, a big bout in the works for WrestleMania 39. The time for a look at a marquee match planned for WrestleMania 39. That being Dominic versus Rey Mysterio. Been here, the WWE Universe has been waiting for this one to take place ever since Dominic turned his back on his dad following the events of Clash at the Castle, joining Rey's rivals, The Judgment Day. Now, Dave Meltzer is reporting in this week's Observer that Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio. This hasn't been announced, but it has been the plan for months to hold off their first singles match to this show. Yeah. The WWE has taken its time building things up for this match, taking Papa Rey out of the equation when he moved to Raw, where Dominic wrestles to SmackDown. That's minimized the interaction between the estranged father and son on WWE television, the idea being that Rey would rather walk away than fight his son. However, the WWE's vignettes where Dominic mm -hmm. crashed family functions leading to his arrest last Christmas have kept the conflict in the back of the fans' mind. In addition, they imply that Dominic attacked Rey Mysterio backstage at the Rumble, taking him out of the match. Mm -hmm. Dominic recently told Byron Saxton that he'll be joining Rhea Ripley on the 24th February SmackDown, which will likely start things rolling for Rey vs. Dominic. There have been rumors of the two fighting in a mask versus hair match, however it's unknown whether the WWE intends to build up on such a match, if it intends to book it, or wait until down the road, extending what should be a hot program between the two. Next up, next up, I me will say this, that's going to be a match that people want to see. I'm going to want to see that, you know, and honestly, honestly, I don't know how you book that. Um, part of me feels like, yes, Dominic does need to win. Dominic, I mean, you're trying to build. He's the future. But there's also a part of me that just wants Ray to get a substantial win. I just want Ray to get a very substantial win, in my opinion. I think that would be a cool moment. I don't know. It, it just makes sense from a logical standpoint. If you're going to do father versus son, son would realistically beat the father and move forward you know, solidifying his legacy. So, I don't know. But if they do have a match at Mania, I'm all for it. Mania main event musings. Which match will main event WrestleMania on night one? While it's a given that Cody vs. Roman will headline night two, there appear to be different opinions on the first night. Meltzer went over the situation in this week's Observer saying, there is no decision on the main event past and internal feeling that Charlotte Flair vs. Rhea Ripley right now is the favourite. Hmm. There is a push feeling for sponsors and political reasons after men main evented both nights last year, it would be good for a women's match to headline and the feeling Flair vs. Ripley is stronger than Bianca Belair vs. Asuka for the spot. Yeah. If there's Usos vs. Zayn and Kevin Owens, one would think that would be the other favourite. Yeah. But WrestleMania 30. I ain't gonna lie to you. Usos versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, I think that would be a great main event. For the tag team titles, I think that would be the first time ever, correct me if I'm wrong, it'll be the first time ever the tag team championships main event at a WrestleMania. I, me, personally, I'm okay with you doing that. I'm okay with you doing that because of the story that it involves. I'm okay with you doing that. If you have Sammy, Kevin Owens, main event for the tag team championships with the Usos, I'm o I'm uh, I'm okay with that. I think that I think the I think the crowd will will love that match. So I don't know. We'll see. What y'all think? You know, do y'all think that should be 
how night one ends with Sammy versus uh, Sammy and Kevin Owens versus the Usos. Night nine is shaping up to be one of the biggest additions of the showcase of the Immortals, and having this many potential main events has to be seen as a positive. But should Flair vs Ripley headline WrestleMania Night 1? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, a new WWE PLE revealed. A big news concerning WWE's PLE schedule for 2023 as WrestleNomics is confirming a new PLE will debut after WrestleMania 39. Mm. If you've been keeping up with the news, you'll likely recall rumors WWE was thinking of turning its King of the Ring and Queen's Crown tournament into a PLE. Long-time fans know the King of the Ring was a WWF pay-per-view for years mm -hmm. until the company scrapped it in 2003, occasionally bringing it back for TV. And now Thurston is reporting that WWE has two PLEs planned for May, which is Backlash booked for 6 May and King of the Ring or Queen's Crown booked for 28 May. Mm. It's also believed that WWE is contractually obligated to provide 12 PLEs annually for Peacock, oh. so this will make up for the WWE not airing one in March. Oh. This is interesting news for many reasons. They are contractually obligated. Okay, that makes sense then. Including that it was previously believed that WWE would hold one of its Saudi Arabia shows in May. However, that's not the only intriguing aspect of this report. Next up, a big twist in the Shawn Michaels vs. Grayson Waller storyline. Is Shawn Michaels going to wrestle NXT superstar Grayson Waller? Well, the heartbreak kid has his hands full running, running NXT. NXT superstar Grayson Waller has been making Twitter. the showstopper's life easy of late. Things have been building up with a black and gold brand teasing that Waller's whining could lead to Mr. WrestleMania stepping back into the ring again. However, a recent report from WRKD Wrestling, which broke the story of Lita's return to Raw, suggests something very different. As many fans have speculated, the idea of Shawn Michaels forcing Grayson Waller to face off against a debuting Dragon Lee has indeed been discussed. This could be a wild way of introducing mm. Dragon Lee, who chose to sign with WWE over AEW, but hasn't been seen on TV since announcing he was signed with WWE last December. Oh, damn. Next up, is Mercedes Money appearing at Forbidden Door 2? Of this speculation, the newly crowned IWGP Women's Champion could show up at the rumored Forbidden Door 2 pay-per-view. Mercedes, aka former superstar Sasha Banks, would be a major addition to the AEW show. But oh, first, let's sure. look at the news that Forbidden Door 2 is going to happen. Last year's collaboration between AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling was a success. The show did good numbers in ticket sales and pay-per-view buy rates. A wrestling observer figure four online's Ian Carey recently discussed how a cable company may have let the proverbial cat out of the bag about the pay-per-view. Spectrum Cable have been given away the date for AWX New Japan Pro Wrestling Forbidden Door 2. The company's pay-per-view listings have the event scheduled for Saturday 24th June 2023. Mm. The first Forbidden Door took place Sunday June 26, 2023 from the United Center in Chicago. It's encouraging news for AEW's collaborative events with New Japan if Forbidden Door 2 is happening. There's been speculation over whether New Japan will continue its collaboration with AEW following the change in management at the WWE. Assuming Forbidden Door 2 is happening, how does Mercedes play into things? Well, let's look at a recent story where Money teased working with AEW wrestler Kenny Omega. Mercedes recently wrote, So nice to meet you, Kenny Omega, until our paths meet again. Mm. Omega replied, Our work with New Japan Pro Wrestling isn't quite done yet, so I'm sure they will. I hear they sometimes do mixed matches now, too. As Wrestling News speculated, this could lead to a mixed tag team match. And if this happens, it doesn't have to happen at Forbidden Door 2. However, if it does, it could be a huge match. Yeah, Fans will sure. have to wait as Kenny Omega's future in AEW remains unclear. Rumor has it that Omega's AEW contract may have already expired, with the WWE reportedly interested in signing him. Which Omega could see. be gone from AEW before Forbidden Door 2, though. And finally, Which a masked wrestler ditching his mask. Doing that. It looks like the end of an era for Luchador Lince Dorado. The current Major League Wrestling star recently tweeted the shocking statement that I've contemplated this for a while now, possibly five years now. For almost two decades, I've been someone I'm not. I've decided this will be my last year masked. Question is, will I lose it or say, F it, this is the real me? The 35-year-old wrestler currently Damn. holds MLF's middleweight championship, and it's unknown if he'll adopt taking his mask off into a storyline, but one would think so given the significance of a mask in lucha tradition. Mm -hmm. But there you have it, folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you very interesting video man very interesting video um hoping jeff hardy continues to you know on the path of recovery getting himself together you know it's good that he doesn't have to go to jail but once again this is it in my opinion i know some people say he's been given too many chances and you can say that you can argue that but he's been given another opportunity to make things right i hope he continues to do that and what do y'all think about 
the main event of night one what do you guys think the match should be should it be charlotte versus rhea ripley or should it be the usos versus sammy and kevin owens me personally i would like the usos versus sammy and kevin owens to be the ending match of night one because you know it's going to play into night two because now the usos don't have the tag titles no more now roman's getting desperate you know and maybe it plays into the fact that them splitting up jay's like man screw this i'm done maybe jimmy he's out you know what i'm saying so it, it it can be interesting we'll see how it plays out man i'm looking forward to wrestlemania this year so but comment down below let me know what's your thoughts on this on this whole situation who's gonna uh main event night one and the whole jeff hardy situation i uh, appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i am still the undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world and also yeah the clutch world heavyweight champion appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace